The Baltic Sea is the largest brackish sea in the world. Between 50 and 85 million people live in the coastal areas alone. It is the sole habitat of abundant quantities of plants and animals. But this sea is in danger. It is one of the most heavily polluted seas in the world. Czy to jest dobry sposób na życie? Rejon jest dosyć biedny, więc nie ma przemysłu. Zostało rolnictwo, prawda? To jest konieczność bardziej niż dobry sposób na życie. Ten podziemny zbiornik to zanieczyszczenie, to jest efekt zwiększenia stosowania ilości nawozów 20 lat wcześniej. The Baltic Sea is the recipient of incessant pollutants. This occurs due to deposits from the atmosphere, ocean transport, waste disposal, energy generation, fish farming and tourism. The most significant causes of over-fertilization are found on land, in the production of agricultural crops and livestock, as well as the disposal of wastewater. It's difficult sometimes to find solutions which can reduce load of nutrient without at the same time affecting uh, the economy of agriculture in a, in a bad manner. Since 2014, scientists from Denmark, Germany, Poland, Sweden and Russia have been looking at measures for reducing nutrient inputs from agriculture and wastewater disposal. To achieve the objectives of soils to see, we need interdisciplinary collaboration among scientists. On the one hand, we need hydrologists, engineers and the natural scientists to explore the soil conditions and the catchment area. On the other hand, we need historians, political scientists, cultural anthropologists and others to understand the motivations and reactions of people. Polska 20 lat temu, no może 30, to jeszcze były konie, wie i, i za tym konikiem ktoś tam pracował. Poland differs considerably from many other Baltic riparian states. It is approximately 500 kilometers of coastline, and more than 40 rivers flow into the sea via larger flows, such as the Odra, Nisa, Wisla, Warta, or Buk. Nearly the entire territory of Poland, a country with a population of 38 million, drains into the Baltic Sea. We are measuring different properties of the river and of river water. And the purpose of all of these measurements is to uh, to get the knowledge about the uh, river uh, itself and also about the nitrates and other forms of nitrogen transported by the river. Znajdujemy się na stacji usuwania azotanów, która to stacja powstała w latach 2004-2006. Zastosowano tutaj bardzo unikalną metodę uzdatniania i usuwania, a mianowicie metodę polegającą na biologicznej denitryfikacji. The interests of scientists, farmers, policymakers and industry are very different in the region. However, bringing these interests to the common denominators is not a simple task. When we look from the EU level, it's always that we have to find solution that fits on all level. But if we look actually on the case study side, it always has to be case study specific and they all have their own problems, they all have their own solutions. I think that uh, the improvement of the situation depends on uh, all participants of the process. Only one player will not improve the situation. The nutrients from the Kochinka catchment travel more than 500 kilometers until they reach and contaminate the Baltic Sea. It is therefore vital to bring the critical condition of the sea into the consciousness of the people in the region in the end, it is critical that the people take the first step and begin to want change because they themselves see the benefit. <laughs>